Alrighty, what's popping? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to set up the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Yuzu emulator. Now, this process is fairly simple and easy. I'm just going to be straight to the point. Now, do keep in mind that this video is only for educational purposes only. Only do this if you have the hard copy or digital copy of this game. I, for one, happened to get this game at a local mom and pop shop. I won't disclose where I got it from, but just know I got it and I was able to burn the game. And basically, I can set, up, set it up on my Yuzu emulator. So, for you, two guys, for you guys to completely understand how to set up this process, you have to watch this video from beginning to end. You cannot skip any parts. If you do, you'll be confused. So don't be in the comment section saying you're confused. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'll leave in the description down below um, for the Yuzu website. It's pretty simple and easy to navigate through if you haven't used this emulator before. So what we do here, go to download. And then you're gonna download for Windows 64. Now I think this is I haven't really used the user emulator, I guess in months. So if I see something new, it'll be completely new new to me. So yeah, they kept certain things the same. So yeah. I'm waiting for an install. Alright, exit out of that. You know, as it launch Yuzu. Now, I believe when we launch it, you're going to see something like this. Now, this is completely normal. I'm just going to press OK on that. And press yes for it to use our data to basically improve the emulator as you're using it more and more. So, first things first, you're going to need the prod keys. Now, for you to find power keys, it's very simple and easy. All you have to do is go on Google and type in prod keys, switch prod keys, or user prod keys. And usually the first three links are usually good because from what I've noticed over the past years, there's dedicated um, prod key sites. So I don't need to be like showing case you guys linking my prod keys to basically get access to the emulator. So this Google prod keys is usually the first two websites and they basically get the latest keys. And after you do that, you're gonna left click, new folder, and then we're gonna make a folder called keys. And after you get your prod keys from, well, I explained to where you get it from, you basically going to have something called title keys and the prod keys. So you're going to drag and drop that. Pretty simple and easy. I'm going to close that out. Go file. Open user folder. This is the old keys for, um, folder. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to drag and drop this. The newest keys. Then we'll close that out. Close that again. Open up Yuzu again. There you go. See, we don't have that error anymore. So that's pretty, that's pretty rad, I would say. All right. Next thing you're going to need is basically set up the emulator. You're going to set up an advance. You're going to go to graphics. I believe if you're using a NVIDIA graphics card, which is probably the most common thing a lot of people use, I'm going to use OpenGL for that. And then after that, you basically use OpenGL for the best performance, but also you can use Vulkan. It really doesn't matter. I use both, but preferably I use Vulkan, but OpenGL claims to be the best, but it is what it is. All right, next we go to the advanced tab. Um, for people that use NVIDIA, VSync and fast GPU time is technically the best. And then use normal for the best experience, the smoothest experience without any hiccups. Um, if you use high, I believe you may experience some crashes, depend how strong your PC is. But if you have like a basic gaming PC, I, I prefer for you to use normal. All right, next you go to controls. 
Uh, I'm plugging my controller, which is a Xbox controller. Let's see if it can. All right, finally. <laughs> it only took three tries. Now this is very ghetto what I'm showing you guys. All right, for this, I believe I have to exit out and come back again because if you just plug in your controller and without booting up, you have to plug in your controller first and then you boot up the user emulator. For what I did, I boot up the user emulator and then I plug in the controller. Most of the time that doesn't work. It's, it's a habit I used to do a lot, but obviously it doesn't work anymore. All right, pro controller, that, keyboard only, put any, and then I believe it should read it. If I'm not mistaken. And then you put your GPU to normal, and you have it invoking, and then you should have it on dock. All right, so after you got all that set up, your configurations, your graphics to the way you like it, and your controls to wherever you want to set it, using keyboard, your Xbox controller, or whatever it is. Now you're going to need the game. Now, I'm not going to showcase you guys where to get the game, but if you have common sense and you type in Switch XCI, you should have you should have basically a good understanding where to find it. Usually the first website or go to this um, famous place, I believe it's called NSW, no, the, the number two, NU.com or type it on Google. That's usually a good site. They have usually have um, Switch games. And a great way to navigate through that site is basically through Adblock. If you don't have Adblock, you're going to have a lot of pop-ups. So if you have Adblock, going through that site will be basically pretty simple and easy. You can navigate it through like it's nothing. And then also have either a uTorrent and also have something that can open the zip files like 7-zip, WinRAR, stuff like that. And if you have those um, two things, you should navigate through it pretty simple and easy. I have made videos in the past similar how to navigate through those sites. Obviously, the website names change, but generally, my old videos explaining how those things work is basically the same thing. I won't showcase you guys how to do that because obviously that's a violation, but if you go to the site that I announced earlier, NSW, um, the number two, literally you type into you on Google or type in the website, you should easily get through that website. As long as you have Adblock, um, something that has, um, we have uTorrent and 7-Zip, you should be good. And then you should have access to Tears of the Kingdom. All right, so what you do here, I'm gonna double click this, Go to desktop, go here, select the folder, and then boom, there you go, Tears in the Kingdom. I'm gonna double click this. And I won't do that. <laughs> Due to the fact that it's going to get clean if I do that. But that's how pretty much it, that's how you set up Tears in the Kingdom. That's how you set it up on the Yuzu M later. So that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, it's your boy, Barry Tone. See you guys in the next video. And this is my first video of the year. I haven't made a video in like seven months. Hope I'm not too rusty or anything like that. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys next time. Peace.